Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing part six of the Hogwarts Legacy walkthrough. Um, So off camera, I went and did a bunch of the tedious stuff Um, because I didn't want to waste the time going to do it, you know, during the video. So basically what I did was I sold a bunch of my gear, right? Sold a bunch of gear and I learned a bunch of new talents. So basically, if you guys don't know, when you reach a certain point, you get a quest that allows you to start... um getting talent points and every every time you level up you get another you get one talent point and uh you can use those to come by talents and what those are is basically this gives you a whole menu of them these are just the common core talents so these are just like the basic ones so for example i went ahead and bought um the ancient magic throw which you can, when you disable your opponents um or disarm them or whatever you can actually hit them attack them with their own weapons which is pretty cool um, this one, basic cast impacts reduce spell countdowns or cooldowns. So basically, I'll be able to use my um, my other spells faster or more often and more consistently. You know, there's not going to be as much of a wait. Um, got swift. So holding down the dodge allows you to vanish quickly. I mean, you can see what it does in the in the image there. Um, spell knowledge. So basically, now I have more sets of spells as opposed to only having one. I got both uh, the first and second tier of that. And then what else did I get? The last one I got was this one right here for Incendio. Um, casting Incendio unleashes a ring of flame around you. So you'll be able to hit more than one enemy and um, all at once. And yeah, and one thing I didn't realize, which in one of the battles that we had yesterday, I was fighting, I don't know if you guys remember, I was fighting those guys where we found uh, the cave. The cave with the, uh, oh, I'm trying to think of what it was. What did we go to the cave for? To find the map, I think. Didn't we go to the cave to find the map? It was, it was something like that. I was straight. You can't go up those stairs. And I had to fight two guys who... I was talking about, okay, sometimes I, I do damage to them. Sometimes I don't. And I was wondering what the heck that was all about. Well, it turns out those guys only take damage when they're on fire. So you have to use the fire attack spells on them in order to, to actually defeat them. So with using this new talent for Incendio, I'll be able to start attacking one and catch them all on fire and then i'll be able to do damage to them so i'll be able to kill them a lot faster so that is going to be huge i feel like all right so i have a couple quests lined up we have the main quest which is flying class which i'm really excited i'm really excited about actually we're finally going to get to get our broom um I'm, I'm assuming that's what that is anyways we're finally gonna be able to get our broom but we also have a side quest where we get to learn a spell it says, Professor Sharp wants me to test myself while under the influence of both the Maxima and Endurus potions. He'd like me to field test a focus potion. Um, I know to find potions and recipes at J. Pippin's potions. My field guide will not guide me through this assessment or assignment, but my map could still prove useful. Acquire and use the focus potion and acquire Maxima and Endurus potions and then use them simultaneously. And the reward for that is the spell Depulso. And... Oh, I'm not sure which one I want to do first. I really want the spell Deposa, but I also really want my broom. So I'm really, I'm having a hard time choosing here. These couple side quests, we're not going to worry about these yet. All, the only rewards for those are appearances. And this one doesn't even give us anything, at least not yet. So, um, I think as of right now, we are tracking Professor Sharp's assignment one. That's the one where we get Deposa. So, so let's see. So I have to acquire and use a focus potion. So I guess we go to the shop. I guess we go to the hog ma Hogsmaid and buy some of these potions. And then we have to test them out in combat, I think. I think. So let's go to the map here. Go to the Hogsmaid map. And then where's the potion shop? Right here. Here. So we're going to set a waypoint and then we're going to travel there. Let's go. I could be wrong. I, I I think this is what we're supposed to be doing. Hopefully I'm Hopefully I'm right though. So if I go, if I go here and buy these potions, I mean, worst case scenario, I'll have them for future use, but, um, oh yeah, I also, I also learned, uh, that there's a spell, I'm pretty sure there's a spell that you're supposed to learn in order to, to get these, um, to unlock these blocks here. You guys have probably heard me say a couple times that I have no idea how to get those locks open, and I'm wondering when and how I can do that. Might need well, when it comes to potions. Have a good look pretty sure it's a spell or it's either a spell or a talent or something one of those things you have to unlock so um oh wait i'm pretty sure where is it I actually remember it was around here somewhere uh 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 
Where where are my spells at? Um Would it be under talents, maybe? Core. No way, okay, I know where it is. I know where it is. It's uh so if you go here to look at all your spells, it's this one right here. So I have as you can see, seven out of my eight essential spells. And the last one I don't have is Alohomora. Alohomora, whatever. It grants access to a variety of locked rooms and containers throughout the world, but requires magical prowess to perform successfully. So I'm not sure how, when, where, why, who we learned this from, but yeah. <laughs> so it's just basically what we need. And then as I was saying earlier, I now have different spell brackets i guess you could say i don't know what else to call them but so i i made this one this is kind of just like an exploring one so i'll have lumos for if i get you know if i'm in a dark area or um disilluminist if i get or is that what it's called disillusionist Illu disillusion mint okay there we go in case i need to you know sneak by some guys i have levioso if i need to pick something up Ac accio if i need to pull something to me and then the top one is my Kind of my main, my main battle kind of set here. Combinations. I have, um, let's see, I have Incendio, Luminoso, uh, Le uh Levioso, Accio, and I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm still trying to learn all the spells. Expelliarmus, there we go. I'm still trying to remember, but still trying to memorize all these different spells. But we're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, so what, what was the potion I needed to get again? I needed to use the focus potion, and I also need... Maxima and Endurus. Okay. Is there a way to see what potions we currently have? So this is just the recipe, but I don't know if that... It looks like we have one. It looks like we have one Endurus so far. And we need to get the Maxima and the Focus Potion, so... What can I do for you today? Let's see here. Can I just buy them, or do I have to actually craft them? Okay, so you can buy them. What do I need? I need the Focus, and I need the Maxima. Is it worth the 800, though? Or could I just... Oh. The recipes are a lot, uh... This recipe is not that expensive. I could use... Let's see, the Maxima recipe is 500. And the Maxima potion is 300. And then the Focus recipe is 1200. Or is this one? Hmm. I think I'd benefit more from just buying the focus potion for now, but then buying the Maxima potion recipe to craft it. Is that dumb? Because the difference between the Maxima recipe and the Maxima potion is only 200 coins. But the difference between the focus potion and the focus recipe is 700 coins. So I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. A wise decision. Got that. And we'll buy this recipe. Right? Is that big brain? Farewell for now. Is that big brain? I actually don't know. Okay. So we have one of the of the endurance potions, one of the Oh, wait, so we don't even have any of the... Oh, I might have messed up. So we don't even have any of the supplies to, uh... To craft this. We do have the... Wait. Okay, no, because I bought that. Okay, I, no, but I have... I bought the recipe for this one, for the maximum. And we do have the supplies to get that. So... Now I just need to remember where to go to craft that. Um... I truly don't remember, to be honest with you. Hey, we got a, we got a new hat, though. Let's go, baby. Um, let's check out the new hat real quick. Gear, hat. What, what we got over here? Oh, it's not, I'm not even high enough level for that yet. Level 12. I'm only level 11. She, oh well. All right. So now I have to remember, where do I go to craft stuff? I truly don't remember. Let's look at the map and see. I would assume we craft in Hogwarts, right? The astronomy wing. Unless it's in secret rooms. What is this? The map chamber? No. 
This is in the astronomy wing. The arts class. Professor Figs class. Um. Defense class. Transfiguration. Transfiguration. Charms class? Hmm. I really don't remember where we're supposed to go to craft stuff. Shit. Maybe I would have been better off just buying one. Said it was I, I would have just been better off just buying one of those like potions. Still trying to levitate himself without magic. Huh. Goodness. Let's see here. Got nothing going on in here. Maybe I should just go do the broom quest and figure this out like off off cam. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do because I really, I, I truly do not remember where to go to craft stuff. So, no, oh, went the wrong way. So I'm gonna just go get my broom now. We will track this quest, go to flying glass, and then check out the map, see where we gotta go. Looks like we have to go. Let's see to the bell tower wing and then and then we'll travel here. All right. Let's see. So we're going to finally get our broom guys that and I think that means we'll be able to just like fly around and just go out like travel super fast. I'm pretty excited honestly. Yeah, so I'm going to go off cam once we finish this episode and uh I will try to figure out all that crafting stuff. And then we'll go do that side quest and we'll get to pull. So for now, we're just going to stick to the main quest. Grab a broom and we shall get started. I wonder how hard this is. I don't know. If, I don't know if this is easy or hard. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. <laughs> Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Uh. Now... Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice Damn, over the summer crowd. holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. <laughs> now, your turn. Up, My turn, eh? Up. Up, you stupid ratty schoolroom. <laughs> Up. That's it. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Okay. Over. Now what? And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay, so... Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The <laughs> this takes some getting used to. Okay. I want them returned <laughs> in one piece. This is Who's brilliant. That? It's not too bad. That's pretty easy, actually. I well if... done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? I wonder if there's a way to like accelerate. Yeah, there this is. Next okay, hell set yeah. Of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a What a view. <laughs> Hello. Nice day for a flight. Okay, so you can either you can either press Brilliant. the trigger or you can press down on, on the left stick. On controller that, that is. I don't know about keyboard and mouse. Uh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced I like the trigger. I like the I mean I like the stick one more. Because you just have to press it once and it's it keeps doing it. Like I'm not even I'm not even touching the controller right now. Well I mean I'm holding it, but I'm not pressing any buttons and it's still like accelerating if you will, whereas if you do the trigger method, you have Whoa. to actually hold it. See that? So I think using the stick is the way to go. 
Unless we come across an area where we need to make like s real sudden speed changes, but I don't see that. I don't see that being an issue. This, this is almost like cruise control right here with the stick. <laughs> this is rather fun. It is. I'm excited to be able to just like travel around like this stuff having to run around everywhere. Indeed. What's that, little bro? I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself try to race on me? a dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. He's gonna try to race but me. But I'm getting me? ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high flying fun? can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow uh. me. Uh-oh. I thought he was going to try to like... The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. I thought he was going to try to like... Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. I thought he was going to try to either race me or like duel me in the sky or something. I guess I, guess I was nice wrong. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? What happens if I crash into something? Will I get injured? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Should I try to crash into something and see what happens? For my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's okay. something handy tonight. Guess it does nothing. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Of you need to escape a tricky situation. Oh, so that's uh, speed boost. Now that's more okay, like so you, it. Wow, okay. You sure you're not part hippogriff? There's oh, the so there's like a little energy Think meter kind of. The magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? The only thing I will say is like and jaunt around Hogwarts. So the, the looking the around Everett. The looking around is like slightly clunky, but it's it kind of like I don't know. It doesn't seem as fluid as it as it should That's be. It kind of snaps a little bit, this but concludes our tour. Oh, well. Let's hurry back. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. And where have you two been? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. Damn. Uh, Professor. Enough. Sure. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Oh, my bad. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Hey, she likes me. She don't like him, but she like me, though. Little teacher's pet. Meow. Sorry about that business <laughs> with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. I have no regrets. Axe. <laughs> It was worth losing it was like a few no regrets for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom <laughs> after class. Perhaps after purchase a <sighs> broom. Then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Eye in the sky. At the eye of the tiger. So how do I get my own broom now? Wow. That leveled me up halfway. Let's go, baby. All right. What's next? What is next? Um. Do I not have a, another main quest? I Maybe I have to just wait a second for it to pop up sometimes. Oh, yep. There we go. New quest available. 
Open quest log. Got it. Oh, so we have two main quests. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. So we learn... We're learning all kinds of spells, it looks like. Wait, so this one, I can probably find Sebastian in, at his usual spot near the defense against the art, uh, Dark Arts classroom. And for this, we learn Confringo, whatever that is. And then for this quest, we have to meet Professor... Wait, no, sorry. Professor Weasley has requested I meet her in the seventh floor corridor of the Astronomy Tower. This is an odd location for a meeting. I wonder what she wants. And the rewards, Conjuring Spell, Eventsco... Or Evans school, I don't something like that, and then Con conjuration spellcraft. So we're gonna be learning all kinds of spells. Let's uh, let's just do let's just hop with the first one. Let's go uh, kind of fringo, whatever that is. Go peep the map, see where we gotta go. Looks like we gotta go to the astronomy wing. Select, and then this looks like it'll take us pretty close. A little defense against the arts tower. Pretty sure that's actually exactly where we're supposed to go. Alrighty, boys. Learning all kinds of new stuff. Learn how to fly. Gonna be learning like three new spells or something like that. It's gonna be crazy. Still don't know how to, uh... Still don't have the postal yet, but that's okay. That'll be... I think that'll be next episode. Unless I figure it out along the way here. I'll have to wait and see what happens. What's up, little bro? Oh, wait. Uh, little sis, my bad. Wait. That's like... Take a nap. Waiting for this guy, or what? What was that all about? Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. I'm coming, I'm coming. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Is this it? The Undercroft. Oh my god. Wait, why am I going in there by myself? <laughs> what is this? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Wait, how did he get he in here? He named it the Undercroft. What the heck? Rebellio Dobso is here all the time. With my sister. Anne. She loved that stuff in here. Game. What I wouldn't give to Some new glasses? Yeah. I should tell you. I swore to Got a new uniform? This place. So please, keep this between us. He never confided. Got another new uniform, okay. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Okay. Let's throw on some of this new stuff we just got, eh? New glasses. Gonna up our defense a little bit. Oh, more like a lot of bit. Look at that. From 8 to 19. Let's go. Oh, those are kind of fly, actually. I kind of like those with this hat. Okay. And then we have some new outfits. Let's check these out. We got two new outfits. Which one's better, though? Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. I actually like this this fit with the, with the coat and the scarf and everything. Keep the same shoes. We get better pants. Look at that. So that, wait. So this increases the defense by eight. Our defense just went crazy. Look how spiffy we are too. We're a fucking fly as can be. Fly as a kite. Sheesh. Okay, let's see what this is. What this little, little dork wants. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. Look he how does. good I look. No That's idea, actually however. crazy. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? 
No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them. Wait. As he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, so the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. So the four schools, like Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and uh, and Ravenclaw, are those named after actual people? So I'm pretty sure he, when he said Slytherin, he said one of the main founders, or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. If you guys know, let me know, because I I really don't remember any of the Harry Potter lore at all. So I'm curious. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. So what does to it do? To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Uh... Holy moly. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Oh, I like this little Z, little Harry Potter, little Harry Potter vibes on the forehead. Confringo. So what does it do? You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Oh yeah. Stick to the targets though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendia. Oh, wait. Um, okay. Long range bolt that deals damage on impact. Enemies hit with fire based attacks will continue to take damage. Okay. Confringo! Nice work! How does it sick. feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used. That's it! Look at how I fast it. it. Is that wait? Is that normal for it to regain that fast? Well done, Expelliarmus. I don't know if it'll take longer in fight or in combat, whatever battle, whatever I you want to call say, it. I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed <laughs> our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. I'm ready for more spells like this. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. I love fire. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, <laughs> you'll have to meet him too. And meeting we'll the whole meet fam, huh? student will be precisely we'll be like, uh, what in a relationship needs. now or something? I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Oh, the pages. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. Um, I mean, he's telling me secret spells and stuff and showing me secret rooms. So I, I, it's only fair, you know what I'm saying? You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. Just said right. that. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? 
I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Why do I feel like this is going to come back and bite me? I'll send you an owl. I feel like, like later on in the game, I'm going to have to end up fighting this kid. Like, he's going to turn his back on me or something. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just kind of get that vibe from him. I feel like he's going to be the type to, like, stab me in the back eventually. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there. I can hear you. Uh-oh. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh... I know he's not gonna believe me, but I, I can't though, I can't, you know, I'm not a snitch, you know? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone. And not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Uh, he's one of those kids. He's one of those kids, man. Come on. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Damn, someone oh, I just meant I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian Shit. is going to get an earful about this. Yo, Sagma, dude. Literally Ligma and Sagma, for real. God damn. Dude, just be chatting, bro. Guess we got two new side quests, eh? Got a little fly test, probably a little, a little broom, uh, broom class. And then what's this one? Let's see, Perry Pippin, or speak with Perry Pippin, um, and his potions, and Hogsmaid sent me an owl regarding a delivery. I should speak with him if, uh, something about a simple room. Okay, whatever. Let's go to this one so we can learn more spells. Yay, more spells. Woo! And then, okay, go to the map. Where do we have to go? To go to the astronomy wing. We're already in the astronomy wing, but looks like we have to go upstairs. So we'll go to the charms classroom. Oh, that new spell we just learned is sick, though. What is that? Configuro or something like that? You wouldn't catch me keeping one. Confringo! Confringo. Confringo. Okay. Yeah, that spell is sick. Wait. Where, where, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Hey. Oh, that was the other thing I did. I went and collected, like, a bunch of those, uh... I already forgot what they're called. Another field guide page? Damn. I already forgot what they're called, but you can collect the, the, the rewards you get from doing those, like, side mission stuff. Okay. Right around the corner, eh? Yeah? Looks like, wait. Is there more? There's no more stairs up here, right? So how do I... Oh, that... Oh, wait, okay. I'm walking in the walls here, don't mind me. I'm gonna see if I can... Before I start that, I'm gonna head up the stairs here. And I'm gonna grab Boom. How nice to see you, my That little friend. hot spot right there. 
All right, now we go back down and start a quest that way we can learn these new spells. Begin. Professor Weasley? Who's spying on us right now? I bet that kid from downstairs, a little fucking... Somewhere away from prying eyes. Little bitchy kid. Little whiny boy. Maybe it's that, that, uh, that clown guy. Peeves. His name's Peeves. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. She drunk? Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> she she had those eyes, you know what I'm saying? She had those eyes and that smile. We've got a cougar on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. What is this place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it. Rebellion. By walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now. Where is Deke? What do you mean by that? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Wait, what's the spell called again? <sighs> Evanesco? Alright, this is a little, little tricky one, a little slithery snake looking like thing. A little sharp turn there, bam, a little X action, a little another sharp turn, you know, a little spiral. Slithery spiral snicky snake action. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco. Um, I guess. Guess we don't need. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We should Rebellion. discuss its uses later. I was Let's just, move on. <laughs> I was just about to say, how did I just get that? I didn't even do anything. What's Where this? in Merlin's name is that elf? Wasn't there a bag over here? Is this another field guide page or what? Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. Ahem. <clears throat> I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Okay, A. I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you had expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet me again. Sincerely, T. Who's A and T, though? That's a little sus. Revelio. Sus. Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Where'd that bag go? It's like way back here, but I don't know. And there's, there's more stuff back there that I apparently missed before. How do you get in there? I'm confused. There's a whole bunch of stuff over there. Wait. Maybe I have to, I have to wrap all the way around, it looks like. Oh, okay. We have to keep going. We have to wrap all the way around. Meow. Levioso. Oh. Okay. I'm 
got a little big old chest up here. Super we got a mobile chest, you know what I'm saying? Unidentified object. UFO? That's so crazy. We just got a UFO. My god. How do I how do I acquire that? Um Grab a little tea real quick. Can I Is this actually gonna work? Oh man. Go ahead. I got it. It actually worked. Let's go, boys. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Look at all this stuff in here. Oh my god, that actually scared the shit out of me. I'm like, wait, am I about to fight somebody? That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. I defended the room and thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Revelio. Or cheeky clean. Okay. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Coming up on the, uh, on all the bags and shit. Yeah. What was that? What was what? Was that a golden stitch? Where? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Revelio. Accio. This is a sketch. Revelio. Um. Levioso. Huh. I wonder. Actually, wait a second. Pull that back in here. Sauce it right there. Levitate it. Then. No way, this is actually about to work, right? Oh, no way. I thought I was so smart. Wait, unless I can. Wait. Am I supposed to be up here right now? Damn. I thought I was actually I thought I was actually about to pull something off right there. Unless I'm supposed to get over right here, maybe? How do I how do I unlevitate that? Huh. I don't know how to bring it back down. I might have fucked up. Um. Might have fucked up, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, that one, that one sat back down. Does it just go down on its own after like a while? I don't know. I'm trying to just. Here we go. All right, well let's keep going. Apparently, apparently that's not important, or is it? Oh my god! Wait, that was actually big brain. Right, what I just did right there. Let's keep going. I hope that house elf can find us in here. So all those are just blocks. I don't actually need those, I don't think. Rebellion. So we're about to get this little teleportation spot any second now. Hopefully I can get it. No, I wanted to get it before the mission stopped. I had a feeling that was going to happen too. What's up, little bro? Yikes, careful. Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Oh, he's actually nice. Oh, she got him. Wait. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Why is he speaking third person? Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. 
Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. So how am I supposed Deep to remember how to get back students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Is this something I actually have to do like manually? No way, right? I hope not, because I'm gonna I'm not gonna have a clue as to what to do. Wait, oh my god. Am I about to get us killed right now? Oh my god. This is just going through the roof. The room is this small? There's no You've way it's this given small, yourself right? Quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Yeah, right. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of identified gear that you've collected. That's huge because I have like a, a few of those actually. Can I do that now? Okay, use it. Okay, yeah, that's what they want me to do. Hell yeah. Uh. Wait, so. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Nice. So now I can go and see what's up. I got a legendary hat. How much better is it? Plus 11 defense? Okay, I'll take it. Shit. And it has a talent already on it? Oh my god. So I'll be able to sell this even though I'm... Yeah, I don't even need that anymore. Because I'm not even... It's a higher level, but it's like... What I have here is better. It's ugly as shit, but it's better. Damn. And I can, but I can change the appearance, so that's all that matters, right? Oh, and I got this top hat? Ooh. That's just kind of fire. I wish I could change the color on it, though, but that's kind of fire. Oh, yeah. That's the wave right there. Oh, yeah. Wait, so this one... Wait. So this increases my offense by 8, and... It comes with a trait as well. Increased damage with Bomber... Bombarda. Do I even have that? I don't think I do. Oh, I love that jacket, though. Look at that. It matches the hat perfectly. But now we got to change the appearance on our other stuff. We had the red gloves. We'll wear that. And then... What outfit should we wear? Do we have a red outfit? Oh, we do, but it doesn't look good. Because it's, it's too much red, I think. That does not look good. Uh, I just... I like the pants with this jacket. I just don't like the shirt. Hmm. See, I like this fit, but it's too much red, I feel like. I mean, do we go for something like this? Now, the teal doesn't look good with the red either. I guess we'll keep this. I really don't like the yellow with the red. Actually, well, yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. And then for the scarf... Let's see, do any of these scarves look good with this? Hmm. 
this was red, I might keep it on, but it's, it's kind of like an orange. I think I'll keep this one on. Alright. Hell yeah, brothers. We got some stuff in the inventory. So those are the notes that we unlocked. Got some new talents, I think, right? Oh, because we have... Okay, so we still have our talent point. Okay. Never mind, that's what that is. And then collections. Got some new collections. This is all the tedious stuff I should be not even focusing. Yeah, I'm going to do this stuff later. I'm going to look through all the, all the tedious stuff later. Wait, so... But I can... Akio. Hmm. I thought I'd be able to like move that stuff around. I guess not. Okay, but I gotta talk to this chick though. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Wait, so is that like shape-shifting? Am I gonna be able to like change stuff into like different stuff? I'm getting good at these things. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. W. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Okay. So we got... This. I'm gonna toss this... Over here. I'm gonna toss this down here. Actually, no. I'm gonna toss this to the right. Then we're gonna toss that to the left. We're gonna toss that up top. Actually... No, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to do up and down. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to throw this to the right and then throw this up top. I'm actually going to swap. I'm going to do this up top and this on bottom. I don't know why. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so conjuring. Or conjuration. Items used to brew. So wait, so what do I need to do? Conjure... A potting table. I'm gonna get rid of that light. Conjure a potting table. And conjure potion stations. Uh... Does it matter which one? What's the difference? I don't know what the difference is. I guess... I guess we'll go with the last one. Cause it's, no, we'll go with this one. Because it kind of looks like our school colors, right? Okay. Uh, complete more quests to increase... Conjuration budget in the room of requirement. Okay. Conjure. Okay, so back out to exit that. And we need to do a... 
We need to do a potting table as well. But I don't have any tables unlocked. Unless it's under something else. Oh! It's under the plant stuff. Okay. Okay. Grab that. We'll shosh that bad boy down over her. And... Wait, you can change the colors on it? I'm gonna keep it the way it is. For now. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. But can Presuming, I... Presuming, of course, you've collected any secret Achille. potion ingredients you need. Need, or can I move outside this? the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Okay, heck yeah, but how do I... Can I like... How do I... They, uh, she said I can... I'm gonna toss that. How do I like? How do I turn it? Oh, rotate. Here we go. Like that. I'm gonna toss this in this corner over here. Bam. Just like that. There we go. So here is a planter. This is where I can go to garden stuff, I guess. Okay, so we already have this, I guess. We'll just plant that, right? Okay. And over here, this is where we can craft potions and stuff. Oh, so wait. Yo, so this is what I needed to do for that side quest. Okay. Hell yeah. Okay, wait. So what did I need for that side quest then? I needed... To learn to pull assault, I needed to acquire... The Focus, Maxima, and Duris. Focus, Maxima, and Duris. And right now we have... Right now we have Endurus, Focus, we needed the Maxima, which is the red one. So I can come here, interact, select that. I crafted it, right? Is that what I just did? Or is it doing it right now? Oh, it takes 25 seconds. Okay, bet, bet, bet. Alright. So now, after I do this, we should be able to go learn the Pulso, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Final 10 seconds. Okay, so I, I'm glad that I decided to go on and, and just do the main quest then. Because I was sitting here trying to figure all this stuff out. And it just came right to me. Okay, pick up. Let's go. We're learning, ladies and gentlemen. We're learning this stuff. Um, Let's see. Inspect. Okay, so that's not going to be ready for another 10 minutes. Alright, so let's see what quest we have now. Our main quest is the map chamber. Which I have to report to Professor Hig. But. I have a, I'm piling up a bunch of side quests now. Which I'm not even mad about. But shit. Um, so we're going to go learn the Pulso now. Let's see. So I have to. Wait. But how do I. Because I acquired. But I have to use them now. Professor Sharp wants me to test myself while under the influence of both the Maxima and Endurance potions. He'd like me to a field test it. Focus potion. I know to find potions and recipes. Blah, blah, blah. My field guide will not guide me through the assignment of my map. Can prove useful. Okay, so I got all those potions, but now what do I do? So I acquired them. So I, just, I just use them now? Is that what it wants me to do? Uh, I'm still trying to figure all this stuff out. There we go. Hopefully I didn't just waste that. Because I definitely used it. But maybe I was supposed to use it in a fight. Shit. I 
says he'd like me to test it. I mean, I definitely did, though. Did I not? Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure this out later. I think I'm going to call the episode there, guys. I'm going to... Let's see. Head back to our little... Our little bedroom here. Where is that even at? I always forget this stuff. Okay. Great hall, Hufflepuff common room, set waypoint, and fast travel. Pretty solid episode though, guys. We learned, we got our broom, we learned how to fly. We learned how to craft our potions, how to garden, how to conjure things. We got a couple new spells. I really want to learn the potion, but that's going to be in the next video, guys. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to figure out all this stuff with the potions and then... We're going to get into that one in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you liked the video, drop a like down below. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications. That way you guys do not miss any future videos, including the rest of this playthrough, guys. The Hogwarts Legacy playthrough, which has been fantastic so far. And we're just getting started. We still have a long ways to go. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Appreciate you all. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.